Hi everyone and welcome to this video lecture on neurocounseling assessment. In this video lecture we're going to get pretty deep down heavy in some of the more technology-based forms of using neuroscience in clinical practice. We'll begin by actually learning about some non-technology-based methods of assessment. We'll review quickly the mental status exam. We'll also review some important information about risk factors for neurocognitive dysregulation. And then we'll look at other quantitative assessments that are typically used when conducting a counseling assessment, especially when looking at more neurological functioning. We'll move to biofeedback, and this is where we start getting a bit more technical and start using more technology-based interventions. We'll learn first about a non-technology-based intervention, diaphragmatic breathing. And then we'll learn about peripheral skin temperature training, heart rate variability training, and move to neurofeedback. Neurofeedback, of course, we had a bit of a grounding in last week when we learned about EEG. Neurofeedback uses EEG to essentially help a person to develop a kind of training to be in a certain, I would say, brainwave state. So we'll revisit the EEG brainwaves from last uh, class, and then we'll be looking at some of the frequency bands and what they mean, the placement on the scalp and what each of the regions kinds of means, kind of means. And then we'll learn about amplitude, phase, coherence, and power in uh, neurofeedback. Functional networks that is often, uh, are often evaluated in neurofeedback. We'll also learn about a really interesting, uh, I would say, innovation in neurofeedback within the last five years, which is uh, this ability to look at subcortical uh, functioning, not just on the cortex. We'll look at some standard protocols that are used in neurofeedback, some equipment that is used in neurofeedback, and the cost of it, which can be often exorbitant. And then we'll look at some of the kind of findings from an actual client. Uh, so we'll have an actual client kind of uh, assessment that we'll be looking at and trying to understand what this means. We'll conclude our uh, class session together by learning about options for further training if you get really interested in bio and neurofeedback. And that'll round out our class session together.